Otis. At your service, sir. Lights. Yes, sir. Otis. At your service, sir. Play music. What would you like me to play? Lofi. So, this is Otis, version 1.0. Uh, he runs off a Arduino Uno right here, a relay. We have right here an SD card reader and a voice recognition module. Uh, I took this, this is an AUX, an AUX uh, input. I took it off an old speaker that I wasn't using anymore and I wired it up to uh, Otis. You want to start by attaching the Arduino to the board. I use screws, but I'm sure there's something way better you can use. For this part, I just use, I glued some popsicle sticks together to uh, to hold down the uh, aux cord so it doesn't move. Also, there's definitely something better you can use than what I'm using. Um, so I don't recommend doing what I do in this one. put together so first we're gonna put in the SD card into the SD card reader and we're gonna attach that to the breadboard it doesn't matter which one you put it into so the first one we're gonna do is the uh, 5 volt and the, the ground uh, wires which go in the first two pins. And the other end goes into the positive and the negative on the breadboard. So yeah, this is the wrong pin. Uh, as you see, it says it goes uh, into pin nine, but I'll fix that later down the line. So here I just put three wires. I'm going to put three wires in. Um, this first one goes into pin 12. These next two go into 13, uh, 11 and 10. As you saw, it's up there on the screen, which pins go to which, um, which uh, pins go to which pin holders? Am I saying that wrong? I don't know. And next, you want to attach the uh, the uh, voice recognition module. As usual with uh, dealing with modules, the first two are the the uh, VCC or the five volt and the uh, ground wires. The next two are RX and uh, TX, and for some reason. 
using the actual RX and TX uh, pins on the Arduino uh, don't work. Um, so I use pins three and two. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. So next we're gonna hook up the uh, our, the uh, relay and that's very important. Do not take that yellow piece off. Um, I took it off thinking it was just like a cover or something like that, but no, it's actually really important. Um, and it wouldn't work without that on there. So the first cable is the ground wire. The second is that we're gonna use the first relay. So we're using N1 for the first relay. Of course, if you're using different relays, you use the other pins. Ground goes to ground on the board, and 5 volt goes to the uh, positive on the board. And that pin goes to 5 for N1. And this cable is to hook the um, the, uh, the breadboard to the Arduino. So we're connecting the five volt and the ground to the Arduino. And now this is a reset cable. So we're gonna connect Oh look, I'm fixing the uh, fixing my mistake from the last time. But yeah, this is the reset cable. So if you activate this pin, it'll reset the board, so you can uh, reset it from the uh, from the program instead of having to press the button. So you put that into pin eight, and then you put the other side into the reset. Uh, pin. And there it is. And so next I'll be attaching the uh, extension cord so you can control home appliances. There it is. It's just a regular extension cord. And so what you want to do is get the flatter side which is the hot side which is why it's very important to uh, not touch these wires um, whenever it's plugged in but you go to the hot side you cut it pull it back and you expose the uh, wiring from it and that's what you're gonna put into the relays Twisting it helps to get into the, uh, that's why I'm doing it. As you can see, I'm doing. So the middle and the left one.
as you can see, it's in there pretty good. And that's it. So you want to plug, uh, plug your home appliance into that one and then plug the other one into uh, the wall or the socket, but don't touch the wires when it's plugged in. So here's the code for it. Uh, it's a long, but I'm gonna post it in the description. So you can just copy and paste it if you want to. Um, if you have a different voice recognition module, then this code will not work for you. But uh, yeah. To get the voices to work, I typed whatever I wanted them to say into this website. Um, I selected the British voice because I was like the best to Jar the closest to Jarvis I could get. And then I hit download. And then to get them to work on Arduino, you have to convert them. So I use this website to convert the uh, the audio to a wave format. So you drop your download in there. Um, I'll put up on the screen what uh, options to select, but that's pretty much it. I'll put up on the screen what uh, options to select, but that's pretty much it. Otis. All together is about service, $74. Uh, so kind of pricey, yes, but uh, still pretty good Otis. for something that uh, can do all At this. Your service, sir. Play music. But yeah, thanks for watching. What would you like me to play? Lofi. Thank you.